baking soda. I got baking soda. Whip it through the glass, nigga. I'm blowing money fast, nigga. I'm in love with the coco. I'm in love. I'm here to make a video about facial exfoliants that are good for whiteheads, blemishes, um, oily skin. I struggle with oily skin, but I mostly struggle with whiteheads. I've been using this for four years now, and I cannot complain. It has worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. Um, let it be known that we all have different skin types. So just because it works for me, it might not work for you. However, I still feel like I should share the secret. So, um, Basically, I have my T-zone is always oily. Um, my nose is always full of whiteheads. It always feels grainy. Um, I get them. I don't know why I get them. Um, I don't. I haven't found a person a uh, permanent solution yet. However, why is my Snapchat going up? <laughs> I have not found a person a personal a permanent solution yet however I have found a temporary one so I've used it I usually use it about every two to three days depending on how bad it gets sometimes it lasts me like three or three to four days but like I can tell when my face is oily and dirty and it just doesn't look clean so first I'm gonna show you my face I don't think it's that bad today I just felt like making this video to be honest Okay. Okay, first of all, ill edges. White heads. You might not be able to see it, but you kind of see like a grainy texture compared to the rest of my face. This is for everyone, for every skin type. Hot water opens your pores. Close, I said close. Cold water closes your pores. Always remember that. So if you wash your face with hot water in the morning, please wash your face with cold water after. Because if you do not, your pores are left open and stuff gets inside of them, that's how you get blemishes. Just remember that. And that's for anything. Anything you use like as far as um, exfoliants or anything like that and it doesn't work for you, that's most likely because you need, to, you need to learn how to wash your face. So, I usually have a cloth. I actually stole this from a restaurant that I went to. Um, <laughs> I'm ghetto. <laughs> but I saw this in the restaurant that I went to. It's like a nice little cloth. You can buy these somewhere. I don't know where. Probably Kmart or Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. But um, get a cloth and rinse it with hot water and then just put it over your face. I'm not gonna take my camera to my bathroom, so I am just gonna be back. Later then, wipe my face. After I finish washing my face with hot water, I usually wash it for about like two to three minutes. Then you just take a cloth and just wipe it down. Do not scrub your face with a towel. That does like, that irritates your skin. If you have sensitive skin, um, I do so I don't rub my face. I usually just pat it down. <sighs> okay. If you wash clothes, then you know where this is coming from. So this is from your detergent, it usually needs to fill up um, the amount of detergent you use, the amount of like, loads you're about to um, put in. Um, I, I, if you find anything to replace this, please tell me, but literally this is like the best thing. I basically pour the baking soda. I usually use, this is helpful too, because I usually use just about half that bottom part. So after you filled up um, the baking soda in your little detergent cap, you're just gonna take the water. I usually just have this thing around for my hair, but fuck it. So you just put it on a little bit. So as like as you put water, the baking soda is just gonna dry it up. So you put enough water that it's like a toothpaste mixture, but not too much to where it's water and you can't see on your face. Sure is. So what you should get is like that gooey, like you know, feeling. <laughs> I don't know. That gooey um toothpaste texture is falling on me, um, and that's when you know it's good, right? 
Um, if you're doing this in your room, please. I've laid out um, a garbage bag because it does get messy. I usually do this in my bathroom, but for video purposes, we're doing it in here. So what you're gonna do is just take a scoop. I usually apply more to the places that need more. So like my nose. And it's like gonna fall down, but like, don't worry about it. It's gonna like low key like like you know tingle. Um, it's gonna scratch. Um, just know that it's working. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's about it. You kind of see it falling down. That's how I know when it's usually done. But apparently it takes 15 minutes. So when you're done, you just need to wash your face with hot water again. Um, Make sure you wash it thoroughly because if you delete anything, it will become white. This shit just got in my arm. Fuck. Alright, I'm back. So, I just washed my face off with the big, off from the baby. So. Okay, so I usually fill my nose out. And I'm gonna take the detergent. This is why I'm telling you this is very essential to me. Um, I'm gonna take the detergent cap. And I'll give you a scrape. Oh, and you can literally feel that part getting smooth. It don't scratch too hard. I'm gonna show you guys again. Right here. This is all wait. This is all the parts that have white heads. All of them. Squeeze out your white heads. This is equivalent to that. You're just scraping it off. And I just do that in my T zone. I usually use an exfoliator afterwards, however, um this is the exfoliator I always use. It's the same as Africa Scrub Blemish Control. Um is America's number one scrub, but for some reason they they're being sued for five million dollars um, because they said it's, it does skin damage. Um, I'm gonna be real, I've been using this for four to five years. I have never had a problem with it. But, so I'm just gonna like scrub it off. I'm just saying that as a precaution though, if you are um, scared about this exfoliate, then just use another one. However, this has always worked. So as I mentioned before, you're supposed to wash your face. Once you're done with this process, you're supposed to wash your face with cold water. That's the only way to close your pores. So you open your pores, you clean them, and then you close it. Remember to close it. It's the most important step because if you don't close it, it's going to get dirty again. You're going to get blemishes, germs, blah, blah. You don't want that. So avoid that and just wash your face. So, um, look at my face. You see it? Just size and just... Remember, dab your face. Your face is supposed to be sensitive. Just dab it out. So after, um, the baking soda does dry up your face. Um, because it's supposed to make your face less oily. Um, so after, I usually use um, a moisturizer. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It is Bioderma. Um, it is a cleansing milk and it's with corn flour. I usually use it on my face. It's also a makeup remover. And I just use it all over my face. 
who makes my skin so smooth. You could use any um, moisturizer you'd like, any face cream, but I, just, I literally love this. And it feels so good on my skin. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. I'm sorry, this is not a booger. This is just the exfoliator and the baking soda. It's weird. Um, yeah, so subscribe, like my ch I said like my channel. Like this video. Um, make sure to watch my other videos. And goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.